Hello everybody and welcome back to Atelier Meruru. We are now in year three and we have no worries at this point in the game. We're going to be able to play for the full five years because as you can see we already have over 30,000 people so there is absolutely nothing to worry about. We do, however, want to go rank up our kingdom, because I am fresh out of development quests. All of these ones are just Meruru's personal quests, and I can't really do a whole lot with these right now, so... As soon as I get that rank up, I should be able to do a couple of more things. And I'm also going to be changing uh, party members. So, let's go visit Rufus first. The reason I'm visiting him first is because... I do have a mail in my mailbox, but I'll get the rest of them after I've ranked up, so we'll need to make another trip here. So Arles is now scaled up to Middling Earl's city level, and we get a sweet increase of 3,000 people, which is a really big boost, especially if you're struggling with that uh, 30,000. And then we also get the book Farmland Evolved, which has a couple of recipes I do believe that uh, we're going to be able to use. So if we take a look at our development plans, we do have a couple of new ones that are available to us. We have the Adventurer's Inn, and we have the uh, Overhaul Academy. We've got the Equipment Archive, the Material Archive, and the Element Archive. Uh, these appear when Astrid brings you the plan for it. And each of these uh, are unique in some way. So the Equipment Archive is going to increase um, synthesis rate, for example. Material Archive, you will need fewer ingredients for synthesis. And the Element Archive will um, increase your experience from synthesis. So these are all very useful buildings in terms of uh, alchemy. But there's a couple of other ones that are very useful in some other ways. For example, the Overhaul Market is one we're definitely going to work towards. We get the third warehouse, which will allow us to have the most amount of items in the stores, uh, price reduction, and then we also get a good population boost. So that looks to be about it. Um, I don't have enough development points at the moment to get anything, so I'm going to have to wait for a couple of the letters to flow on in. You can see they're going to start uh, coming in. And then I'm going to come back to Rufus again, and we're going to see what kinds of things we can do. We have a good variety of stuff, I hope. Four letters in total, on top of the three that we already have. So let's go check my mailbox. Meruru was one popular girl. Everybody wants something for her. So the first one we've got is, uh, people want to create a path leading to Mount Velus, which is actually a new area. We've never heard of Mount Velus before, so that should be a little bit interesting. Get to see some new territory. Um, the next one is the invading plain grass. Uh, this has been a problem since the beginning of the game in Moria Forest. It looks like the, the grass is back, so we're gonna have to go and solve that issue. The rainy season has lasted longer than usual and it has damaged our crops. We'd like to act immediately, but there's really nothing we can do against the weather itself. And this is from Quayle Forest. Uh, Rufus had mentioned that it tends to flood a lot. So that's going to be a constant issue. Rampaging goats we have uh, over here on Trom Plateau. So we need to calm those goats down. And this one is from the Forest of Ent. Uh, when you enter the area, you will get a letter from the expedition team uh, asking you to defeat Ent. That's not something that we can do for a very, very long time. So that one's going to sit in our log for quite a while. And then the last one is just a book from our teacher. Alright, so let's go back to Rufus, because I can never get enough of his beautiful smiling face. And look at all this stuff. I'm definitely not going to run out of things to do. Alright, so here we go. Here is the complete list of stuff that we've got to do. So we've got a couple of um, path developments we're going to have to do. These are all easy and really fun in my opinion. They're one of my more favorite quests get to develop uh, some new areas. We have to, to deliver some pies to the soldiers in Moray Forest. Uh, we have to find a way to clear up the rain, when we have to find a way to calm the goats over at Tron Plateau. 
Uh, you get a hundred whopping points for defeating Ent, and you also get a trophy for it. Uh, the reason for that is because it's very, very difficult to do, like I've mentioned. I'll try to get around to it if I can. And then the rest of the stuff is just from our palace teacher, and like most of the ones that our teacher gives us, these are all going to come uh, fairly naturally throughout the uh, course of the game. So we're just going to have to wait it out a little bit on those. And now that that going back and forth is all over and done with, I'm going to go back to the workshop briefly, once all these stars have filled up. And then I'm going to make a little bit of a change in our party line. Oh yes, and we do have that book to read as well. So we got the Farmland Evolved book. And we now know how to make balloon tents, rich soil, time flow seeds, a new land ration, and a suction bag. And all of those recipes, I do believe, are all ones that you use a lot later. So, we are actually going to be taking out Rorona. Um, I mentioned that you can take her out. I personally don't like to. However, I don't think it's fair to not, you know, take her out and show you guys what she's all about in the playthrough. And Gino has finally got his friendship level up to 60. And at this point in the game, I think that Esti and Maruru can hold their own um, so that Rorona can tag along with us. If she's giving me a problem or I'm having a hard time or I get into a boss battle, I can just as easily switch her out. But we're going to see how Rorona fares um, against these monsters. She is a little bit under leveled, but she does have good equipment. I do believe that I used her a little bit in my last playthrough and she does have her uh, best weapon and she does have some pretty good armor. So hopefully that helps. I'm going to take a look at my development log. And the first thing I'm going to work on is the uh, Morier Forest quest. You're going to need to deliver anywhere from 5 to 50 pies with the effect of LP recovery medium. Now, I have always personally struggled with this. I have always had a very difficult time um, making the effect of LP recovery uh, medium. As far as I know, uh, in order to be able to do that, you have to combine traits in order to make that. But a lot of the, the stuff that I have doesn't really have a lot of traits. I haven't found a good place to find salt with a lot of traits. Um, flour, I don't really get a lot of good traits off of um, either. And the water that I get, none of it has traits. But as you can see here, um, the flour has um, LP recovery extra small. So if you can get flour that's got LP recovery small and you combine a bunch of them, they'll eventually um, lead up to a large or medium. As far as I know, that's usually how combined recovery statuses work in this game. Um, so if anyone can tell me how they managed to do that or they can help someone else out, then feel free to leave that in the comments. It's always something that's kind of in a gray area to me, but I have prepared for this long, 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 long in advance. I have had my male hom making um, homemade pies for as long as I can remember, honestly. He has made me a lot of pies. Uh, he's made me 40, in fact. And you know what? I'm going to deliver all 40 of these pies to Morier Forest, believe it or not. Because if you don't make the right trait, you have to bring them 50. And it's the exact same thing with the lumber. If you don't have the right trait, you have to bring all 50. And I've always just brought all 50. So it's not so bad as long as you plan in advance for it. It's only worth um, 25 points and you have a ton of stuff to work through um, in the meantime. So I'm going to wait for my hom to finish off the rest of those pies. I'm going to deliver that to the Moray Forest Captain. We can probably start to work on the development of uh, the new paths because these are all pretty easy to accomplish. And if I take a look at some of the other stuff, I'm not sure that I can make... Oh, you know what? I actually can make these, which is awesome. I didn't think that I actually could. Usually I, I'm missing um, the pyroxens, but I actually have a lot of them from the ghosts that I was fighting. Which is awesome. So, 
The only trait that we need to have is Ice Power, which I may or may not have. I'll most likely have to make it using a supplement. So I may need to get a supplement that has Ice Power, because a lot of these don't have that trait. And when I make these, I generally can only get the Ice Power from the supplements. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make some supplements with ice power and make three sky flames. I'm really glad I'm gonna be able to get that taken care of right away. And we have to make animal resonators with the trait of finest goods. I ne never made it before, but I have a 100% success rate, which is great. Let's take a look at what we've got. I do have a lot of materials. However, sometimes the problem is that you don't have the right traits. In this case I do, it looks like the bird wing is going to give me finest traits, which is excellent. I can go ahead and make these and we can take another visit to Trom Plateau whenever we have the chance. Make a couple of these. Make sure that it's got the finest goods trait on it or it will be useless and you'll have to come back and make another one and trust me, I have done that before and it blows. It's not fun when you make a mistake like that. And I can't think of any other item that we need, so I'm just gonna make a quick reference to the development screen. I'm really terrible with remembering these things off by heart, but I think um, we pretty much have it all covered. I'm just gonna have to wait for my home to make the rest of the pies. However, I'm already finished making the rest of the stuff. So that's great. Um, I'm not going to go to Tron Plateau or Quayle Forest right now because we've been in that area for the last couple of videos, you know, creating the bridge at the Cape and doing um, a couple of other things. So um, I'm not going to bother with that at this particular moment. I am, however, going to bother making my ice power supplements because I'm definitely going to need that. I'm going to try and stay um, on this side of the map, near Arles, so that we can develop the path that leads to Mount Velis. That's probably going to be the next thing I'll do, and that's also a really good opportunity to show off uh, Verona's abilities in battle. If we do a lot of the um, battling and clearing of the paths, it's a perfect opportunity to see how she um, battles in comparison to some of the other characters that we've seen. So I want to make sure we've got our, our ice power. Doesn't matter the quality, it just needs to have the trait on it. And that's beautiful. I now pretty much have the potential to get lots more development points. And I think that is it for now. I'm going to take a quick swing over by the tavern. I haven't really... Uh, liked a lot of the requests that Spilly had uh, recently, but now that I've synthesized for a couple of days, they've changed over, and it's probably a good opportunity to finish up a couple of these. As if I don't already have enough money, but oh well, that's alright. It never hurts to do requests, especially if you want to increase people's friendships. And it looks like I have a lot of this stuff, which I really like. I'm gonna do this one for Geo, because that one is so easy. Healing salves are something that we were making when we first started the game, so... I have felt like I have just talked forever and ever in this video. So I think this is a good place to end things off. We pretty much went ahead and we've gotten ready for the next time we're gonna go out, to Arl uh, out of Arles. We'll do that next video. Um, we're going to go, we're going to develop a couple of paths, and if I'm feeling particularly dapper, I will go and I will deliver those materials. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that I'll see you next time.